Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 274BH. This is a great bunk model because as you can see it has double over double rear bunks, a campsite dinette, and they were able to put a sofa in here all without having any slides. So as we start off right over here, as I mentioned, on the campsite dinette, I personally love when manufacturers do this because as I'm sitting here having my morning coffee or eating my breakfast, I get to look out to the view I want. I get to look out at my campsite, not out at my neighbors. This also does drop down into additional sleeping space, so you know, it doesn't make a huge bed, but if an adult wants to curl up a little bit or if you have some kiddos, you can drop this down and uh, again, make this another sleeping space. Uh, right over here is an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug anything in while you're sitting here, you have the capability to do that. You'll also see the rope lighting they installed underneath just to give a little bit of, you know, the aesthetic piece there. It looks pretty nice. There's a switch on the wall to turn it off if you so desire. Right up top here, LED lights. You have those throughout the RV as you would expect in an, on a 2019. Right up top here, plenty of storage space going all the way across. Another little cubby hole right over here. You see your multimedia center right over here. This unit is Bluetooth capable here as well. TV hookup right there. If you want TV, they have a backer in the wall. You know exactly where to mount it. And then the hookups are right up above. You do have a thermostat right over here. This is for the heat only. This one does have ducted heat. It has a single AC unit. I'll show you that a little bit later when we start to take a look at the kitchen and living area. Right over here are your two bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on both of these. As I mentioned, double over double, they are nice and big. You'll see that you have uh, dual USB ports on both the top and bottom bunks. As far as size, you can see right here, I'm six foot. I pretty much max it out. So if you're you know, any taller than that, you probably have to sleep on an angle, but the bed is big enough. You know, it provides plenty of room to be able to do that. So, you know, even if the, the kids aren't going and you're just having like a friend's weekend or something, you do have a couple beds so you can accommodate adults. Right back here in the corner is the bathroom. Let me flip on the light switch here for us. You'll see the foot flush lever toilet right here. Uh, you know, it, I do okay as far as having leg space. If you have really long legs, you might have a little bit of issue here. As far as the shoulders though, I have no problem whatsoever there. You take a look up top, you'll see you have good countertop space, your electrical outlet underneath the sink. You have a little bit of storage there as well as obviously access to the P-trap. Robe hook or towel hook right over here. And then because this is a bunk model, they give you a tub. So that way if you need to uh, give little ones a bath, you have the capability to do that. When I stand up, as I mentioned, I'm six foot. If you're much taller, you know, even six one, you may have to bend down just a little bit. If you're any taller than that, again, you will definitely have to bend. But you have the hand wand there making showering pretty easy. And again, if you're, you know, six foot or shorter, this is no problem whatsoever. Plus, the great thing about a tub is it helps keep the shower curtain in, uh, in the tub itself. You know, it's a higher wall, higher threshold, so your water's not splashing everywhere when you're showering. Right over here on the outside is the Norcold fridge-freezer combo. I'll open that up for you. You can see plenty of space both in the freezer as well as the fridge compartment down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. Cubby hole right up top there, which is great. Your fuse panel is right down here. This houses both your fuses as well as your breaker panel. So you can see the fuses here, breaker panel right next to it. And then your propane leak detector is right next to that. Moving over a little bit further here, I'll kind of hit some of this storage down below in the kitchen. This one actually folds up. You can see a little bit of storage right in there. You have your microwave, so you know if you need to microwave anything, gives you the uh, the microwave right down there, which is a lot easier to reach. And they did that because that way you have storage up top, kind of takes the place of where your oven would normally be. Three ball bearing drawers here. You'll see the top one's pretty short. Bottom two are a little bit bigger there for you, so you can fit all your silverware and all your other some of your larger utensils like spatulas, things like that. A little bit of storage right over there as well. Then as we move up top, we get into the double bowl sink here with the high rise faucet, three burner cooktop as well. So, you know, you get that full RV cooktop there instead of just a two burner. You have this, uh, this kind of subway, this gray subway tile look wall board there, which is pretty easy to clean way easier than, you know, what the paper on the back would be, which is great. Open that up again. Good storage running that whole length led light right here. You have your standard electrical outlet as well as a dual USB port right there too. And then we step right over here into the sofa. So this is great, as I mentioned, in, uh, you know, a lot of times it's hard to fit both a dinette and a sofa into a floor plan uh, you know, of this size, especially when you have bunks without having a slide out. 
And so with this arrangement, it makes it possible. But this gives you another spot to sit. You have a great view to the TV, which is awesome. You have the armrests on the side. They are removable if you want to take them off. But this is pretty cool too. This folds down just like so. You got some cup holders right in there. So, you know, if you have a couple beverages, this kind of creates almost like a pseudo theater seating, right? For two people, it's really comfortable. But this essentially is a jackknife sofa, so it does drop down into a bed if you need that sleeping space. And because it is a jackknife sofa, as you can see, you get a ton of storage underneath. You don't have to lift it up. They do have the handle right here, so you're able to pull it down just like that if it's easier to access uh, some of your items that way. If you take a quick look up at the ceiling, so this is the AC unit I was mentioning. You can see, you know, it blows out pretty much every direction there. And because this is such an open floor plan, that does a great job of keeping things nice and cool. So with this setup, manufacturers do a couple different things. Either they'll have a wall here or they won't. <laughs> the advantage of uh, not having a wall, of course, is the fact that it makes it so open like this floor plan is. And so that's one of the things I like. If you do have a wall, instead you get a little more privacy and separation. But you have the curtain here you can close off and Let's be honest, folks, in any RV, even though, you know, I, I like having doors, I like that privacy, you can hear pretty much everything in an RV no matter what. So there is that. Uh, as we take a look right over here, this, of course, is your queen bed. Um, you know, it's an it's a RV queen, so as far as size, it's a little bit short. Again, I'm six foot. You can see I pretty much max it out right here. But, you know, for most people, it will do the trick. And then there's also storage right here underneath. So I'll lift this up for you so you can take a look. Decent storage right there for some of your larger items. Both sides have nightstands, cubby holes underneath. You'll see electrical outlets and USB ports on both sides. You see I flicked on the little LED light right there, shelf along the top. And then you also have mirrored wardrobe right here on both sides of the bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Lantern 274BH. Right up front, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Behind that, you will see rails here for your battery. And coming up the front, you have diamond dutch plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll see a three-year structural warranty on here, which is currently the best in the industry. We make our way around to this side, you'll also notice this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will triple charge your battery. One of the things I love about Coleman is the size of their pass-through. Take a look in there, folks. You have a big pass-through going all the way through here. You have the same size door on this side as you do on the other side, and it's a large opening as well. So if you have some bigger items like some of your uh, executive chairs, grills, things like that, chances are they will fit in there. Power awning on here. Simply flip the rocker switch one way to have it roll out, the other way to have it roll back in, and you have an LED light strip on there so you have light at night. You'll also see two outside speakers. Those are uh, connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way when you're sitting out here, you can use your smart device to connect to it. Two foldable steps as well as the grab handle. So the grab handle gives you a little extra control when entering or exiting the RV here. And then you have an electrical outlet right outside. So if you need to plug anything in, that of course will be the place to do it. When you come around to the back side, underneath the rear bunk here, open this up for you, you can take a look, you can see great extra storage area. So not only do you have that big storage up front for the pass-through, but they give you this additional storage right back here, which is phenomenal. You can see your rear bumper, this one does have the end caps on there. So what you can do, so you can just pop these end caps right off and it'll give you a great spot in which you can store your sewer hose. You'll also see the outside shower here with both hot and cold water access. And if we take a look right up top, you'll also notice this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, all you have to do is, uh, you know, take it in, have that backup camera installed, seeing as how it is prepped, it's a lot easier. It's essentially a plug and play, meaning it'll save you a lot of money on labor. Right over here is a cable inlet. Right down below, your termination with both your gray and black tank valves right there. 30 amp power cord, simply just pull it out, snap that down just like so, nice and easy. You plan on going somewhere you don't have city water, you're gonna wanna make sure you fill up your fresh water tanks, which is what you'll do right here. City water inlet, of course, will be right in front of that. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Coleman Lantern 274BH. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.